Are you aware that DuPont has in its own files studies dating back to the 1970s that say just the opposite? That PFOA, or C8 as it's called, has potentially life-threatening effects on human health? I'm not familiar with the exact studies. We may have in our files. Then I'll take you through them. Uh, exhibit 9. Uh, you were just handed Exhibit 9. Uh, you see the date, March 13, 1979? Yes. You see the DuPont logo at the top? Yes. Do you see this word here highlighted? Yes. Would you read it for me, please? Receptors. Do you know what that word refers to, receptors? Um, in this context, I do not. It means human beings. DuPont refers to the men and women that your company exposed to C8 as receptors. Mm -hmm. And in these receptors, your scientists found, quote, significantly higher incidence of allergic, endocrine, and metabolic disorders, end quote, as well as, quote, excess risk of developing liver disease. Do you see that? Yes. Moral, you have infertility at Teflon, occurrences of leukemia. You have excess of cancers, bladder, kidney, oral, pharynx. Next paragraph, 78. You see that heading? You see that date? You see that? Exhibit 96. Exhibit 53. I'd like to move on to birth defects. We've got almost seven hours. Mr. Holliday, you're aware that in 1981, 3M notified DuPont that it had conducted studies on rats, and these studies showed that sustained C8 exposure can cause facial deformities? I'm not aware of a study by 3M. How about DuPont's own studies that showed the same thing in humans? That's DuPont's pregnancy study from 1981. Does that look like a DuPont document? It looks to be. Are you aware that DuPont has denied that any such study ever even took place? I'm not familiar with specific statements we've made about that. Seven Pregnant women, all DuPont employees, all from the Teflon line. Do you see this here? Quote, child, four months, one nostril, eye defect, end quote. Yes. Two of the seven women, nearly 30%, gave birth to babies that have the exact facial deformities that your company already knew We're about. We're done here. Sir. His parents named him Bucky. Bucky Bailey. This is your receptor. Now we're done.